On your friend who is, ha, ah, I'm gonna eat demon food, pork, ha, ah, demon food, pork. On your friend who is, best be, better come out and stop me. Best baby, better come out and stop me. All right, hold on, they folded it. Wow, this is fresh. It's hot and fresh. All right, so. I keep on almost making more AI shit about Korea stuff. And then I realize I just have like better things to do with my time because I do. I have to like get working again and stack more crypto. Along with it, you're right. I want to reiterate. I don't have anything against her music. I guess you could. I mean, even though, even though technically it's more from a visual perspective. Because of Galaxy Supernova, you could even say I'm a fan of her music. I can tell it's important to her. I want her to be happy. That's why I paid what seems like is her debt. Okay? I'm gonna just go. It's so good. I just don't want you to do it at the expense of all the other bullshit I have going on. All right? There's a way to make it work where it fits, where she gets fit in, not where she takes over everything. Anyways. But, um, again, I'm not mad. Well, oh. I also, now I see why, because look, remember how at first all I really cared about was if she was, like, involved with someone else? Oh, so said no. And Papa Fresh was like, she's got a boyfriend, everyone. I'm not involved with her. And douche fakes, Miss Mick, um, fake ass Weezer douche was like, I'm going to Taiwan, not Korea. Everyone, look at me in Taiwan, not Korea. I'm in Taiwan, everyone. The issue is all of this went on at the exact same time. She stole money, didn't tell me why. And even after I was like, eh, whatever, it's only money. The, the music video, Rick Ross bullshit. To be totally honest, I mean, like, I don't want to, the people who are trying to convince me that Poppin' Fresh isn't that bad of a douche, um, well, A, you should have told me that, get at me when all this shit is done, but it would seem like he's stuck between this motherfucker who wants to beat the shit out of anyone who Tiffany's even in the vicinity of, and Rick Ross who can, like, bankrupt him because he has to sell him his beats. And at the end of the day, Rick Ross is hiding in a bunker. So that's a pretty tough situation to be in. Uh, if it's true that you went to school and you chose to make beats instead of like whatever you got your degree in, you should have gotten into the tech. Because if you had a tech degree, you wouldn't be doing that. But 
So I, I don't care who she wants to collaborate with. As long as she communicates, feels, you know, like lets me in on what's going on. And I would prefer to be there if there's another dude involved. There's there, there, it still seems like there's other bullshit going on other than just music. That's where all this culty weird shit comes into play. Because again, like I don't, oh, it's so annoying. Like, look, words are invented to be used. I'm using them right now. When she yells at me for no reason, she uses them, and she just won't use them appropriately. There's some crazy culty bullshit going on. And it seems more likely that what's going to happen is whoever the fuck, that's where it belongs. I'll get it in a little bit. It seems like whoever is behind all this douchery is some web 2.0 legacy douche fuckface. And it's just more reason to get Web 3.0 up and running, right? Anyways. I just wish I had a specific name of someone who's behind all this so I could just turn them into a meme and have it be like the whoever the fuck that person is is a stupid face. Uh, I missed that one. Cunty twat. Piece of shit loser chain. And I'll just make sure that it gets like the most developed on and all that bullshit. But I'm probably gonna eat this probiotic yogurt stuff, take a shit, and then go get some more Bayside because I'm almost out. Um, I don't know. I'll just keep on applying to jobs that are remote and that don't decide a month in that they're gonna make me come into the office, which I thought was a little odd, but I don't know. It's like, you guys know how, like, before they were trying to go to war, they were like, we're going to kick all the people out of the military who don't have the vaccine. You didn't get the vaccine? Get the fuck out of here, you stupid motherfucker. And then Ukraine started happening, and they gave, every, they gave everyone in Ukraine, like, a $10 trillion or some shit like that. And they were like, what if we sent U.S. troops to Ukraine? Fuck all we have are a bunch of vaccinated sick people. Hey everyone, do you want to serve your country? We need unvaccinated blood. It's the best unvaccinated everyone. Please consider at least joining the reserves because the country needs you. Like, why is Nikki Haley sending me thingies in the mail? And fuck you. Just hurry up, Stephanie. 